Good day, ladies and gentlemen. Most fun Elden Ring playthrough I've had so far with the double whammy Kislami build. Eight times I've played through the game, and this has been the most easy one, the most fun one. Just absolutely rampaging over bosses. The main goal here being putting as many points in strength as possible to wield two colossal swords, and at this point, especially the Ruins Great Sword, together with jump attacks and a talisman for another 10% bonus damage. So in total, you're roughly getting 50% bonus damage per jump attack, just putting out numbers that are beyond crazy. Just sending the Godskin duo, for example, absolutely just packing which I've never done so before. Let me guide you through how to get this done. It's actually very easy and you can get this in the first 50 levels roughly that you already have the runes great sword and especially also be able to double colossal sword wield and then go crazy. Timestamps are in the description below. So just jump to whatever part you would like to be at. For character selection, you're either going to go for Hero for the 16 Strength or actually for Vagabond because he also has 13 Dexterity and Int at 9, which will be important later for the Ruins Great Sword. Step number one, as always, you take the Dragon Burn Ruins route with the Seller to port yourself to the Celia Ruins and then make your way over to Fort Ferris for the Radagon's Scar Seal. Because Radagon's Scar Seal is the one and done that you need and want to have to be able to then early wield your first sword, which we call the Guts Great Sword. You've never been here before. You just easily go in, run past everyone. And yes, you can do this at level one and don't hit that pillar. <laughs> And we're going through these steps step by step to just kind of show you what it would look like as a new player. If you obviously know how to get the sword seal, just jump over to the next part of the guide already. Really trying to make it possible for new players, for old players, for people that have done their first playthrough already to get that done. So sell your crystal tunnels right out, make your way around, go to Fort Ferris. There we are already. By looking at the map, you'll find your way, jump over, get past the rat, roll down, and then here you'll find Radagon's seal. Then obviously the giant rat is going to jump down and kill you, which leads you to then teleport back out again to the Celia Crystal Tunnels, and you're going to make your way all the way through the Eonia Swamp until you hit the shore. From the shore, you can ride all the way up to the Smoldering Wall. This is where you end up. We're here right now, smoldering wall. This is the Celia Crystal Town, so you get to ride this way to end up here. And you have the Callum Ruins on top of you. So you see this wall, Telltale? That is where you want to end up. It's alongside the road, you can barely miss it. And then you'll find this little city here that you're just gonna pass through. And again, everything possible as you just created your new character. No biggie, no hassle, no dilly-dally, no bingo-bongo. Riding through the city, leading your way to the Guts Greatsword. There's another race you can take there, just in case you get murdered early. And at the back of this truck, you'll find the sword that I have equipped right now. One and done. Which then brings in your possession the Greatsword which needs you to wield 31 strength and 12 dexterity. Now, obviously, as you have Radagon's Sword Seal, which gives you five vigor, five endurance, five strength, five dexterity, as you start on 21, because you, you take the hero, you start on 16, plus five is 21. And if you're then just having it two-handed, your strength gets times 1.5. This is also where you're gonna pump most stat points into strength straight away. Nowhere else, just strength. The five and vigor is enough to make you alive with the source seal for a while. So you're just going to pump everything into strength. Which then leads you to traveling all the way to the south from the Agles Lake South. So we have been teleporting here, Dragonburn Ruins. This is where we start. Then we make our way all the way south, Weeping Peninsula, 
to the Castle Morn. And Castle Morn down here, we go all the way until we kill the boss. And the boss down there does give us the Grafted Greatsword. That would be here. Very easy. As soon as you have, as soon as you have your greatsword, you can just, with jump attacks, with an ease, get rid of that guy. Summon your wolfies, get him killed. He's not going to be a single challenge for you. Now, you would then have the grafted greatsword, which unsurprisingly needs you to have 40 strength. So your goal in the very beginning would be to achieve 40 strength by any means possible. Because then you can wield the Grafted Greatsword together with the Greatsword in the two-handed Colossal Whammy Kislamis. And when you jump and you press L1, you do the two-handed Overhead Slammer. Very important. That can be achieved very early and very fast. So do not fret. You, For the most time, you're going to start using the Greatsword alone, which has a very good base stats. You see 401 Physical versus 303. This one also has magical on top of it and an S tier scaling in the end. So this one is very strong as just base. The only problem with the greatsword is it only upgrades with mining. So I still keep using it, but as an offhand sword, you could have also been using the grafted blade greatsword. Now your final weapon would though be the ruins greatsword. Let's go on that first and then tell you the talismans and equipment pieces to take. The ruins greatsword is very easy to obtain and on top of that it can do this which not only does very good damage it actually bounces up bosses partially and units this on melania makes her fly up so you can follow up with a double whammy kiss lammy and it does stands damage so it can break poise and make them fall down the Garun's great sword will be obtained in the fight before radon so what i did in my playthrough is i essentially cleared the lake area here I killed Rana, but I didn't go either through the tunnel or port my way up through the Grand Lift of Dectis. With this in mind, you see that in Radan's castle, the teleporters are not active yet. And when the teleporters are not active, which are now active, you can just ride into the castle, make your way right into the castle while you're being shot at, And you might, you know, suffer the cost of your transgressions here. Kind of, <laughs> kind of whiffy. And then you'll just make your way to the room before Bratan, where the festival is happening. And there will be a fight against two opponents. One will be one of those beastmans that you killed for the Grafted Greatsword, plus a Crucible Knight. Now, you can do this at... I would say level 40 is why I did this at. Because obviously doing it earlier might also not be the wave because you need 50 strength to wield the Ruins Greatsword. So it's going to take you a bit where you're starting with the Ruins Greatsword to then also be able to actually wield it. Now as you get here then without a single problem because you didn't fall down and you fight your way through these Jimothys, you'll see that there's actually a fight gonna be happening here. And that is mostly before the teleporters are activated and the festival hasn't started yet. Then you get the fight straight away. You get the Ruins Greatsword. The very good thing is it might need 16 int, but don't worry about that because the most important part is the 50 strength, AKA 45 strength, because you still are using Radagon's source seal. So you already need 40 anyways for this. So you need only five points more for the runes. Then over time, you will get the int. The int is only there to allow you using this and to get the final scaling on the magical damage, which only makes a small portion of the blades damage. So don't mind not having the end straight away. You can still use the blade to 95% of its damage without the intelligence. Therefore, you're very good to go. And in all boss fights, you're always going to be utilizing the upside jump piece with a bump piece. Going for super staggered damage. Super staggered damage. 
that would be now the weapons you're looking for. But the true damage comes by using the Raptor's Black Feathers and the Claw Talisman. The Claw Talisman enhances jump attacks, whereas the Raptor Black Feathers does that also. Since you're going to be struggling on the endurance part and actually on your weight load, because if you do not have the Arsenal Charm, as you can see, I'm permanently heavy loaded due to these swords being surprisingly heavy. So we'll pick up the Claw Talisman first, since that is extremely simple. You just have to kill Margit, the Fell Omen, make your way into the castle. And I then usually run through the main gate and not through the side gate, straight up to the lift side chamber port. And from the lift side chamber port, you can actually make it extremely easy to the Storm Whale Talisman, who just be running past all these nerds. And yes, we're doing this with our high level character, but keep in mind, we did this all with the appropriate level at the appropriate point. Run past all the Jimothys, Jebediahs, Jonesies. Don't get yourself killed by the grafted sign because that would be fairly unfortunate. Make him all way downtown, walking past, falling in the pit. Up into the Rampart Tower. And in case you're gonna miss your jump, definitely tap that grace because we'll never know if you actually do make the jump at first. And then you see this two stones here. You'll just run up to them and jump over them. Leading you here. Right? Just straight up jump over them. And don't jump too, too far left. Like I almost did. Go up the pillars. And you'll end up at a little balcony. Some opponents. And obviously fall to your blades. Like there's no tomorrow. And then you can take this ladder up there and on top you'll find the claw talisman boosting your jump attacks which works multiplicative with the raptor's black feathers now before we can ever take the raptor's black feathers because we have the equipment load straining us we should get the arsenal charm now for the arsenal charm you will have to already have done this area get the teleporter and make your way to the Leyendale area. In the Leyendale area, you can straight up right down here to the bridge, go down, and there's something called the Altus Tunnel. The Altus Tunnel you want to go anyways because there's a lot of smithing stones for your sword in case you want to actually keep the Guts Greatsword. Again, I did it, but it took a while to get it upgraded to plus 25 because you'll be having to go for the mining belts to really make do and get there and you're going here past the roots onto this balcony where that giant thing is throwing magical rocks at you now this is going to be a little bit tricky because he's throwing magical rocks at you and you get to wait perfectly for him to have done it jump down jump down on the tree and run run up as fast as you can and loot it right here and roll down that's where you would be getting your arsenal charm all the way up you have to run now with the arsenal charm equipped you're finally able to actually get yourself the raptor black feathers which then works multiplicative with the arsenal charm to give you what you're looking for now to get to the sage sage cave where you will find the raptor black feathers you go for the ground lift of dectus straight up left altus plateau run all the way until you actually find the Lux Ruins. Here exactly is going to be an entrance for the Demi-Human Queen, which you will kill for the Ritual Sword Talisman. The Ritual Sword Talisman on top of the Claw Talisman and the Arsenal Charm, as soon as you're able to wield three, gets you bonus damage when your HP is at maximum. And we're talking about only 10%, but 10% bonus damage plus the Claw Talisman, plus the Raptor's Black Feathers when you're jumping, multiplicative effect so raptor's black feather multiplicative on the claw talisman plus then the 10 percent of the ritual sword talisman kind of adds up nicely together to give you a big bonus boost and well it's perfectly on the way to get now you're going to turn to the right here there's going to be a lot of invisible walls so you're going to make your way through there's a bunch of skeletons but you don't care next to the invisible wall just smash your way through that jump down Obviously, bring your torch or you're going to be going in blind. 
don't have to find anything here or you can fight your way through the whole little cavern it is quite a challenge because all these stupid skeletons keep respawning roll past had a ride and most importantly don't forget to jump hold yourself left again waterfall cave and then jump over and turn to the left there is the raptor black feathers here that um you can walk do a boss fight and then you can also walk to the left to do another boss fight with a jump down here against an invisible assassin helps a lot to just get your wolves out and then do a jumpy bumpy attack to get him murdered it's quite that simple now you will have your Ruins Greatsword, your Greatsword, your Raptor's Black Feather, Arsenal Charm, Claw Talisman, and Ritual Sword. All the things you need to make this build work. Later, you can take either the Viridian's Amber Medallion. You can... Later, when you get all the stats you're looking for, and you do not need the Sorcerer anymore, you can either go for Vir Viridian Amber Medallion that you'll get from the second market in front of Landell, or you can take the Dragon Crest Shield Talisman for more physical damage negation. I do like the Viridian Amber Medallion because without it, this is my endurance, which is already high at this point, but with it, it's a nice little boost, and you're using up much as you're doing your jump attacks. To go for the stat balance, currently I'm at 50 Vigor, 40 Endurance, and 60 Strength. What I did mostly was obviously push Strength to 45, that I was at 50 Strength for the build. Then I made sure to have at least 20 Vigor, 20 Endurance, and started raising the Intelligence up to the point of 16, where I have enough Intelligence to use my weapon. In case you want to reskill, you can also go with the Larval tier to Rena in... Academy of Riot Lucaria to then put your skills a little bit different. Right now, as you can see, points for me are wasted in Arcane because I've been playing the Bandit before instead of going for the Hero, which has more intelligence straight from the spot and makes it a bit easier for you to reach the levels you're looking for. But all in all, this would be my stat spread right now. Obviously, I'm level 131. I've killed every single boss, so that was just the final ones. But in the end, I was running around at 60 strength, 40 vigor, and 30 endurance roughly the reason why you push endurance further and further is that you're actually able to put on equipment at some point because most of the time i've been running around just with the raptor black feathers and that's it but obviously you kind of want to be looking better looking good in the long run therefore ladies and gentlemen i hope you enjoyed this guide i hope you'll enjoy the build i've beaten the game with this and has been the absolute easiest game beat ever i've been literally clapping and rampaging over opponents without a single problem and doubt like things that I thought would be hard weren't hard at all. I mean, even the gods can do, as you've seen there, we just absolutely sent them. And especially if you do get the Mimic tier and well, for the Mimic tier, there's a video on the channel. Just check the playlist. We have Mimic tier. We have where to find the somber smithing stones early. So you get your Gruen's Greatsword upgraded. Some more guides that will then guide you to get these things. Obviously for the great sword, I would probably get the mining belts or if you like discovering, just go through all the mines that give you the stones for the sword plus 25. But again, you might also just take the grafted great sword, which does have a very good scaling and does bring you also significantly up to then just use that, make it plus 10 as well as the runes great sword and you'll be having absolutely insane damage. Right now we are having values up to 2000 plus, which is quite fantastic. I wish you a great day. Thank you for checking this out. Maybe check out the other Elden Ring guide videos. And as always, have a fantastic day.